Hello everybody. Hi, I'm Jewel and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is Team Kidney, Rebecca Mahan's story. Team Kidney is a National Kidney Foundation's DIY platform, allowing fundraisers to tailor campaigns to best reflect their skills, their communities, or a loved one that they are honoring. Throughout the years, we've seen some incredible individuals organize inspiring events. One such fundraiser is Rebecca Mayhans, who organized a 5K run in order to honor her father. And here is her story that she shared with us. One Saturday, during the spring of my junior year of college at Rutgers University, I received the scariest phone call of my life. An hour later, I was in the emergency room at the hospital as I stared at my unconscious dad, realizing for the first time that his kidney disease could eventually kill him. The next few weeks were a blur of hours spent hanging out in the hospital, studying for finals, and finishing out the school year. I knew in my heart I would be the one to save my dad's life by giving him the gift of my kidney. Although we had a long process ahead of us of blood typing, blood cross matching to make sure his body wouldn't reject my kidney, and every test in the book to survey my health, I had no doubt that my dad would be getting my kidney. My dad and I have always been so close. He is my best friend, biggest supporter, and the biggest role model. The processes of watching him get sicker over the years was heartbreaking, but the thought of him getting better was a huge ray of hope in mine and my family's lives. The process was long with many setbacks, but I never lost sight of what life would be like at the finish line. On August 16th, 2015, the day I got my dad back, I woke up that morning with excitement. I had been waiting for this day for so long and it was finally here. We had our surgeries at Robert Hood, Robert Wood Johnson Hospital, which is one block from Rutgers. The week of recovery afterwards are still so surreal to me. My dad's body accepted the kidney immediately. While we were both still in a lot of pain, he was more full of life than I ever remember seeing him. He said over and over again how he hadn't felt this great since he was 30. I have never been so thankful for something than I was and am that I was able to give my dad back just so much time, but also so much life. Fast forward two years and he is a completely new person. His outlook on life is completely different and his health is better than it's been in many, many years. He enjoys going to kickboxing classes daily and even began running the five mile broadwalk which he wasn't able to walk once he got sick. With my dad's second chance at life, I wanted to do something to celebrate and help others still struggling with kidney disease. What better way to get to, than to gather all of our family and friends to join us both in running the five miles of boardwalk while raising money for the National Kidney Foundation. I put together a team for Team Kidney and organized a five mile walk or run in Belmar, New Jersey. Throughout our team kidney site, everyone we knew could donate to our cause. It all came together on August, in August, 2017 for an amazing day to celebrate life and health and the two year anniversary of our transplant. We held an after party with food and drinks to keep the celebration going. We made shirts for everyone to wear, and Sean from the National Kidney Foundation sent kidney temporary tattoos, bracelets, and flyers to give to our guest. In total, our team raised more than $3,800. We couldn't be prouder as a family to see everyone gather around us to support an amazing cause. The day was perfect. And reflecting back on the two-year journey since the transplant, 
with all of our loved ones was priceless. Thanks, King Team Kidney. And as you see, Team Kidney is a, um, a DIY platform from the National Kidney Foundation to, um, to um, give people permission to fundraise for different events or for someone they're honoring personally. Of course, the, um, the proceeds go back to the National Kidney Foundation to help others that are still in the struggle. I love this story because, you know, I love Re Rebecca's story because of the love, sacrifice, and the overcoming, which is what kidney um, people with kidney disease do every, every day. You know, um, we love life. <laughs> we sacrifice um, many, many things to feel our very, very best. And of course, we overcome every day, you know, to live our best lives in spite of kidney disease. So guys, if you found this story useful in any way and you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, always sending you so much love and affection like Rebe um, Rebecca Mahan, you know, and her family and all the people that struggle with CD and all the organizations that serve to help CKD patients feel um, good and live their best lives. So the only thing that you have to do, of course, is stay compliant with your doctor's orders and just always, always stay positive guys and always be hopeful because you never know what's coming around the corner. So guys, take care of yourselves. And of course, I will see you on the next video. Bye.